I think it's been a couple weeks now. I just needed to take a break and that's kind of it. Just take a break, take a breather. Um, every once in a while, I feel like I need to get off my phone. After the Carmel trip, um, I just feel like I needed to settle into our house up here in the Bay a little bit more. And I just found myself not really wanting to vlog anything, honestly. So... I'm back. I'm going to vlog my weekend. So um, it's a little bit later in the afternoon on Saturday now, but I started vlogging this morning. I've been a little off lately. I'm not going to lie. Um, just quickly to be real, I've been, I don't know what it is this season, but I've just been feeling a little bit more homesick and just feeling like a little off. You know, those times in your life where you're just not moving and grooving how you usually are and you're just feeling a little meh, a little like average. Um, I don't really know what it is and I just have kind of let myself move through it and given myself grace about it a little bit because sometimes there's no reason why we feel meh and our life could be theoretically all things in our life are lined up but we still feel a little off so that's that on that I think I'm coming out of it a little bit now um I think being in this current apartment that we're in is a little bit of an adjustment this year compared to previous years. Um, and just, I don't know, the more we live in San Diego and settle into that house, the harder it gets to leave. So I think it just hit me a little harder this year for whatever reason. Hello. How sickening. It's from Amazon. I think it was 50 or 60 bucks. And I want to say it's a Bottega dupe. That's the brand, right? That's the designer. But it's so cute, a little crossbody. I needed a little tan crossbody I could wear. And then I'm wearing my tan um, trousers, a white tank top, and my slides. And we're off. You already know what time it is. Uh, thank you. Oh my God, I'm excited. There is one thing that can ensure you have a good shopping trip and that thing is making sure you're not hungry and you're not thirsty and you have a little caffeine. What's all those things and more? A Diet Coke and fries from McDonald's. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward time of day. Oh, these are fresh. Oh my God, they're so good. Hot and fresh. Wow. Wait, I'm shook right now. But I just knew if I went straight to the mall and didn't have any sustenance, things can go downhill quick if you're shopping and you get even a hint of uh, hungry. So fix that, got my... Okay, this is gonna be a good shopping trip. I can just kind of feel it in the Diet Coke. You good girl, Henley? Are you good girl? Yes, you are. I 
I'm back from the mall. It's already like 7.30, which is crazy. I did end up getting a couple things. I got two belts, which I have been really needing belts. I have nothing. And I got, I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but I got this black one and I also got a brown one with a gold um, buckle or whatever on it. So I'm really excited about those. They're from, Nord I think they're Nordstrom brand, like they didn't break the bank. And another big come up since the last vlog, I recently got this Target lamp. This little mini Target lamp that goes in our kitchen and it gives off the best light because I got so sick of the fluorescent one up here. Um, so it just gives like such a nice aura now. What else did I get? I got Mendocino Farms for dinner. I'm so excited. They came, they finally brought back my favorite soup, which is Greek lemon and farro or something like that. Um, with ch And it has chicken in it. It's so addicting. Let me just show you really quick the vibes. It's so good. Oh my, I got a cookie as well. And then I got the avocado quinoa salad. I love Mendocino Farms. I don't know if I'll ever get sick of it. And I got a actually really fun purchase at Crate and Barrel. I've been using Malden um, sea salt flakes because I'm bougie to like that. And oh, they really, I don't know if I could do this with one hand. They really wrapped this nice, but it is a cute little marble holder for it. And I have, it has a little um, lid. And I'm really excited to have my little salt flakes. I've never had one of these before, these little salt holders. I'm gonna have my little salt flakes on the counter now. So it's just like a cute little salt holder. So excited. And last but not least, I got this yoga mat i don't i forget if i told the vlog already but i wanted to get one because i had forgotten mine in san diego so i got this beautiful like green sage color and then i also got a yoga towel as well so i'm hoping that these purchases also inspire me to keep going to yoga since i really loved my class so i got the towel so it's just like a thing that can go over my mat and provide some grip and absorb all my sweat when I take out yoga. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Now I can stretch at home too. We also got a three month trial of Apple TV finally. And Ross and I are watching Ted Lasso, but he's gone tonight. So I can't watch Ted Lasso and I've always wanted to watch the morning show. So I'm going to give it a go. Last thing, if I haven't already mentioned it, I did start the Akatar series. So this is the set. I'm on the second book and I'm loving it so far and it's just very addicting having a book that you don't want to put down is like the best feeling so hopefully i don't stay up too late tonight reading this speaking of not being able to put it down so tomorrow is game day and i am really excited and i think it's gonna be a good day Ooh just got done with class. It was honestly such a good class. There was a lot of people in there. For F45, I feel like I have to have a lot of, I mean, I don't have to, but it is preferable if I have a lot of people at the class because I feel like it helps the energy so much. Because if there's only like a few people, it's so eerily quiet and just like everyone's trying to like grind, but the vibes are just like, I don't know. They played super bass in F45 by Nicki Minaj, obviously. And um, it brought me right back to our wedding because we played that at the reception and it just like reminded me of our wedding and reminded me how close we are to getting our full, full photo gallery and finally getting our video. I think we'll get our video maybe in like the next week or two. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait to watch that. The fridge is fixed. Thank goodness. I think I'm going to order groceries via the Whole Foods um, Amazon partnership thingy because I've just been really addicted to doing that lately because I don't have to go to the store and it shows up literally at the door of the apartment. I don't, I don't even need to go out to like the main area. Um, so I think I'm going to get a cart together and order groceries and then just 
use the extra time to clean up around the house and like reset the house because it is Sunday and we have, I, I have such a big week ahead. So I've got three days of work, Monday through Wednesday. And then I have my best friend Heidi's bachelorette party in Chicago. So um, it's gonna be a huge weekend. So I just wanna have all of our ducks in a row. I wanna eat healthy leading up, stay like healthy. I feel like everyone is getting sick. Um, knock on wood. <laughs> mm. So anyway, so I'm gonna order groceries watch the game, kind of clean up around the house, and maybe read a little bit today of my book. Such exciting things happening today. I actually decided to come outside. Um, it's a beautiful day, and I wanted to get Henley a little bit of exercise. Oh. Good girl, come here. Good girl. Hi. Hi. Come here. Hi, sweetie. So the game starts in like 15 minutes. I've got my 49er shirt. The game starts in 13 minutes, so I'm gonna do a quick clean. I ordered groceries, they're coming tonight. I'm gonna DoorDash lunch, I think, and just get this place into a vibe. I need to light some candles and just get everything right. Decided to take Henley on a walk. Um, and it is such a beautiful temperature right now. Um, it's so pleasant. So this is just, it's my favorite neighborhood that I'm walking in and it is so nice and calming and such a nice Sunday night activity. So I've seen these like free libraries, but there's also a cute little free art gallery or like art gallery. I think people put their little like postcards and doodles in here. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's so cute. Look at this tree just casually in this person's front yard. Oh my God. Okay, so I just got my newly in. Usually I'll do a newly if I have a trip coming up or I'm traveling or what what have you. But my best friend Heidi, her bachelorette party is this weekend in Chicago. So I knew I had to do a newly and get a couple fun pieces. This is the first one and I'm so obsessed. It's a free people, just thick sweater. I love the blue color. I've been wanting to get a sweater in a blue color like this or a fun like bright green. Um, but I figured I'd rent it first to see if I like it. I have just biker shorts on under here. Um, it is a little big. It's pretty oversized, but it's so cozy and I feel like I could even put a belt around it to make it work and cinch it or do like one of the tuck methods or something like that. 
Um, but it's really, really cute and so cozy. Next up are some A-gold jeans. I actually really rolled the dice with jeans because they are all over the place with fit and these actually paid off. They're so cute and fit so nice. Um, the bottom is like a straight leg, which I was really looking for a pair like this because all of mine are now wide leg. Here's what the bottom look like. But they're so perfect and straight leg and I figured I could wear these with my little silver ballet flats. The next piece is this fun, colorful, like checker pattern cardigan. I'm obsessed. It's so colorful and has such cute alternating colors. It's like a chunky knit and it doesn't button or anything, but it is so cute. I am back from Target. I went there to get a couple necessary things. One being mochi. I don't know what it is lately, but mochi ice cream is my like kryptonite. But I also got some fun things that I want to show. First off, Myers uh, multi-surface cleaner. So for like the kitchen, they have a fall leaves scent. I didn't even smell it, but I'm a... Oh, interesting. It's a vibe. Also, the 49ers won, so we are now 2-0. So I got Ross some of his favorite cereal. This is like a healthy version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, so I got that to surprise him with tonight. And then I had to end up cracking and getting two little pumpkins. I don't really know where I'm gonna put them yet, but stay tuned for that. Honey crisp apple cider candle. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, my last fun thing, everything else is like boring house stuff. I totally forgot granola butter is now sold at Target. I'm obsessed with granola butter and I haven't had it in so freaking long. So I followed the founder on Instagram for a while and she lived in San Diego. So I obviously saw like the start of her company, which this is called granola butter, but her company is called Oat Hoss or Oat House. It's spelled Oat, H-A-U-S. But when it first came out, I got it all the time and we eat it with apples and with pancakes. And then honestly, I don't know. I just got out of my routine and forgot to keep repurchasing and I'm so happy I randomly saw it at Target because I forgot they started stocking it there because they're literally like hitting the big time now and I'm so happy I'm gonna try it right now and probably put it on some apple for dessert. I got the brownie batter flavor. Also the ingredients are insanity. Oh my god. That literally tastes like brownie batter. That is so good. It's literally delicious. I know I'm gonna wrap up, wrap up the vlog after tonight because it's kind of my like weekend vlog. Also, I feel like this has been the most random vlog, by the way. <laughs> but I kind of love it because it's like what I would do on a normal weekend in my life. Like nothing crazy going on. I feel like I usually vlog if I have like a fun activity or if I have like an extra busy weekend so that I can, you know, film a good amount of events. But I kind of have loved having it just be so random because this is truly like things I'm just doing that I need to do for life and not just like for a cool video. So um, it's been fun and I'm about to make, speaking of random vlog, I'm about to make the most random dinner you've ever seen. I think I'm gonna do breakfast for dinner so I think I'm gonna make an omelet, <laughs> hear me out, eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna chop up a honey crisp so I can eat more brownie batter, let's be honest. This combo is about to be fire. And um, maybe some arugula. What do I have in here? It's gonna be weird, but I think I really, what I really wanna show you is me making my eggs because I have started making my eggs a very specific type of way lately and they turn out so dang good every time. It's basically a French omelet, if you've heard or made that, heard of or made that, but it's my, I, I kind of have tweaked it over the last multiple times I've made it, and it's kind of what I would call it now is Casiawi Pepe eggs, aka if you've heard of the pasta that stands, I think in Italian it's cheese and pepper. 
it's basically that. There's Parmesan, there's pepper, there's butter, there's egg. It's so fire. So I'm gonna show you how to make that because I have been making that pretty much every morning and it's very much a staple. I'll show you a cross section of the eggs. The key is not cooking it all the way through in the pan because when it's all folded together, it will, it will um, cook well, but look at that little spiral. I am going to watch some morning show now until Ross gets home.